They pace the cold streets of Aberdeen, providing aid to those who have nothing. Are you warm enough? A group of people who bring help to the homeless in a time of escalating crisis. I started over a year ago now, um, and when I started, we were seeing kind of up to 20 people a day giving them blankets, sleeping bags, food and clothes whenever they needed it. Now, because of the cost of living crisis and also the homelessness crisis, we're seeing it can be up to about 65 people a day. Talk me through what life is like on the streets at the moment. Hellish. Gary hasn't had somewhere to call home for more than 30 years. This winter, he says, is worse than ever. It's just a nightmare. It's just... You just want to get up. I feel left behind. My situation's bad. And there's no facilities out there now for people. The most recent official statistics paint a grim picture. They reveal around 250 homeless people died here in Scotland last year, much higher than pre-pandemic times, and a deteriorating trend which is causing grave concern for what lies ahead. It's a massive concern. The biggest issue for me within that is the age profile of people. The vast majority are under 45 and the trauma of experiencing homelessness that does lead to premature ageing, it leads to worsening of health conditions. This is a survival map and it takes 44 crisp packets. Here in Inverness, Gillian makes sleeping bags for the homeless using old crisp packets, a cost-effective idea with far-reaching benefits. The group that I'm part of, um, they got feedback from a guy who sleeps on the streets um, and there was like tears in his eyes. Uh, he was so delighted with this because it's just life changing. A small gesture in just one rural community in a country where those without a home fear the long winter ahead. Connor Gillis, Sky News.